welcome back. Welcome to the final product from the mystery envelope. So I will put a link or an i card up in the top of the uh, in the top of the screen in the description box below if you haven't watched part 1 of this of my second time around doing the mystery envelope. So I got this amazing envelope with just all kinds of eclectic things from Beagrob. And the inspiration for my prop, my little AT, I'm going to call them ATC books, were these little vintage playing cards that she sent. When I saw them, I just thought, oh, this is awesome. So from it, in, you know, I think they were meant to be for ATCs, but I just love the vintage images. And she sent me some vintage book pages. So from them, I made ATC books. And I have a few of the supplies left. I have this handful, and I have that one beautiful image of the French lady that I just couldn't bear to cut up. But I just thought I'd walk you through the process in case you want to make it an ATC book and if you've ever made ATCs you know how fun they are. So the front of each one of these books, I made mine out of playing cards, are ATCs. And then I just added another playing card which you could also decorate as an ATC for the back and sewed in signatures. So fun, so just I really enjoyed it. So I started with two playing cards and you know, Bea had sent me this piece of paper. She sent me some other vintage papers that are in there. She sent me this was the front of the envelope that she mailed it in. Um, and I think I used pretty much everything she sent. Playing cards and a glue stick and a painty paper. So you want to go ahead and glue your... Decide what side you want your playing card. I like the numbers on the um, inside of the book. And you could, one of them I'll flip through it and show you, I covered them up. So this was just such a fun project. Um, and I hope that each one of you, after you've watched my video, go down to the description box below and click on the next, on the next person in line and watch their video, like and subscribe and comment. You know, it really means a lot to everyone that participates when they get you, when they hear your feedback, when they get your job well done, or whatever you choose to write. So I find gluing my playing cards down with a permanent glue stick, I enjoy, I like that the best. But you use what you like. So then I burnish them down. Um, I'm just going to use the back of my scissors and just making sure that they're adhere well to the paper. And I also have these really cool little scrapers. And then I'm going to, then you cut them out. Okay, so then the next step would be to cut out your, to cut around your background and then to make your ATC, whatever you're going to do. Okay, and then after you've completed your ATC, you are going to Here's one where I've done, fin completed the ATC. Now I've put a piece of, I need a piece of chipboard. And I'm using a piece of an, a, a postage envelope, the, the Tyvek postage envelope. And I've used a, pot, a product box, like a cereal box. And I've decided how big my spine is. You'd be surprised if you make your spines very large, you need a lot of pages to fill them. And I've just put glue, decided the width, you know, how far apart I want to put glue on a little bit on both of the ATCs and laid my paper down, my tie back envelope, and then put the little thin chipboard in between for a spine. So the next thing would be, would be to glue, I'm doing fabric now. Um, all of these have a form of fabric on them. You could also do paper. You know, it's up to you. So then the next thing you would do is glue your fabric. And what I do is I glue both I glue, leave an overhang, 
And if you can do it in one piece, it's great. I'm just using fabric scraps that I don't have a whole piece the length of, you know, double the length of the inside. So I glue it, fold it over, and then I would match it up and glue the rest in so that it had, it was both on the inside and the outside, any type of fabric. Okay. Now the next step is making your journal insert. So I've used about 10 pages, I think, in mine, and mine are various pages. One of them I did with uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper, um, and then the rest are sort of junk journaly, like just scrap papers and different things that I had. I went ahead and I found I found the center of my signature. I poked my hole. I pre-poked all. I'm going to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch, and I also pre-poked three holes in the spine of this ATC book. And I'm just going to sew it in, three-hole pamphlet stitch style. And here we go. And you can decide if you want a tail on the outside or if you want one on the inside. And I think I'm going to leave mine on the outside. I like it. So if you're sewing it together the same way you did, you, what the same way you do a three hole pamphlet stitch for any junk journal. And makes it much easier when you have pre punched your holes. And I'm using a darning needle, I think. It's just whatever I had. It was a, it was just a, a blunt needle, and then pulling it through. Keep leaving the tail on the outside so that I don't lose it. And I'm just holding it with my finger. Then I'm going to go. You can go to the top or the bottom. Either one doesn't matter. Now, why do you use Tyvek? The Tyvek actually um, keeps your spine from, it, it just gives you the sturdy connection between your two, your two ATCs, your two playing cards, and also between, um, also between the fabric and the chipboard. You could use, if you don't have uh, access to that, you could also use like masking tape or it's just anything to build the bridge across. As you can see, I, I couldn't find my holes, so. Going to make sure my signature is tight. I'm going to go back through the center hole and come out the back. And this, I used wax linen on most of the uh, signatures, but on this one, I'm just using, I think it's linen cord or it could even be bamboo. I don't, they make all these new fibers that you can buy at, um, your big box craft store or your big box store. And, and then I'm just gonna tie it off. I'm gonna do like a double knot and that's really it. So. I hope you try and make these so fun. You know, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's a little take on a junk journal, but it's an ATC journal. You know, it has your own little art on it. And it's not, sometimes I think making big journals can be overwhelming. So this is just like a fun little snippet of just pure joy, pure fun. And then I'm going to unclip my pages. So you can see some of the pages she sent me are in, in each one. Um, this was a piece she sent me and I wired it to the, to the cover. These are um, fake security envelopes. And the same with this. 
it's fun. She sent me some, here I'll show you what the one, this one has German book pages in it. She sent me some really cool German book pages. This is cool, I dyed paper. Anyway, I hope you tried this project. And as I mentioned before, please like, subscribe, and comment, and head to the next video in the description box and show your love. I look forward to seeing you again. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Take care.